Katie, back with Cooking by the Book. Today we're gonna to be making roasted half acorn squashes with a maple soy glaze. So let's get started. Today I'm gonna to be using America's Test Kitchen, a complete vegetarian cookbook. And a lot of books say that they're the complete record of a source, but this one is a really comprehensive guide. Um, it's really simple to look in the index for whatever vegetable you may have at that time. And not only that, but they also have 500 gluten-free options and 250 vegan. And I love a good index, and this one definitely delivers. You can actually look it up. They're color-coded by those uh, dietary restrictions. So lots of options for everybody. Even if you're just looking for a side dish to go with your meat, you can find something wonderful in here. And I thought I'd do something a little different and show you a couple other cookbooks I've been cooking with this month. This is Baking with Kids, and I really like this one because there are a lot of kids' cookbooks, and if you're ever in the kids' nonfiction section, check out the 641s. Um, there are a lot of great simple recipes to get your kids cooking and helping you out too. Uh, and this one I just really like because it gave you a lot of basic cooking terms and techniques and really how to get your kids involved. So I found that to be a really helpful guide. Another one I loved was, you might recognize him, this is Brian Cotaggio who is the top chef from Maryland and owns a couple restaurants I believe in Frederick. And he came out with another one with his brother a couple years ago, but I like this one because it's more about home cooking, so you still get that chef's twist, but it's very accessible recipes that you can make at home. So let's get started on today's. Today I followed their guide for how to bake acorn squash, and they tell you very simple techniques, um, but they also give you a little twist and a couple variations. Um, you can also do a brown butter sage one. Today I'm doing the maple soy version. So I've already preheated my oven to about 400 degrees. It's still getting up there. And I'm gonna show you the really fun technique they teach. It always takes me a second to line it up. And then you just lightly tap. You don't want it ricocheting. And you see it's splitting it. Pretty easy. Um, I didn't use my best knife for this. I did use one of the longer ones though, for sure. And that's it. And I always get tempted by the different squashes this time of year because they go on sale for such a good price and they're easy to find everywhere and they're so healthy. So then you just scrape out the seeds too. If you're into seed saving and gardening, uh, BCPL has books for that as well. And you just want to get all the seeds and goop out. Okay. And so those are ready to go. And now I'm going to take about two tablespoons of oil. The basic recipe calls for olive oil, but this variation uses vegetable because it's a little, it has less flavor to it. So it lets the other ones come through. So two tablespoons. And then you're going to brush about half of that on your pan to grease that. And this is one of the ones, you know, America's Test Kitchen, they test every variation, every way to make a recipe to get, make sure that you're making it the best way. And they said this is the best and easiest because it's easy cleanup. And they found that, um, so we're also going to brush the squash and then we're going to cook that face down. They found that by doing it that way, cooking it face down and then flipping it over for the last couple minutes, it gives the best texture. And I'll just take their word for that. Let them do the testing. Okay, and so now you just simply place them face down. And pop them in your preheated oven. And once your squash is in the oven, it takes about 30 to 50 minutes to bake fully. Um, they say when you can put a fork in it, it's done. And obviously it'll vary based on how big your squash is. So right now I'm gonna start making the sauce. And so you need maple syrup, soy sauce, and a little bit of fresh ginger, and that's it. So I'm gonna start by peeling this. Ginger is a tough one to peel. I often just cut the bigger sides and then I'll go through and 
I've found a spoon is actually really helpful for getting those last bits of peel off of it. grate this right into my bowl. About a half teaspoon of the ginger. Of course, now it smells really good. Perfect. Okay, and then just, let's do three tablespoons of the maple syrup. and two of soy sauce. You don't have to have this big of a container though. <laughs> and that's it for the sauce. I like this recipe just because around this fall time, me and my kids are both back in school and everybody's really busy. I don't think it slows down again until after the holidays. And this is just a quick, perfect weeknight veg. Um, like I said, it's super cheap around this year time of year too and you're eating seasonal and healthy so I love that okay sauce is done and let's check on the acorn squash I did pre-bake some so you don't have to wait the whole 40 minutes and I'll take those out oh yes and so now you're going to take your super simple sauce and put it on your squash just brush it on and you're going to end up dumping the rest in there anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect. And now that we've glazed our squash, we're going to put them in the oven um, to finish them up for the last 5 to 10 minutes and that's going to get it nice and caramelized and really get the flavor in there. There's extra sauce in the middle, but I'm not going to complain about that. So now all you have to do is salt and pepper it. And once you've added your salt and pepper, you will have a healthy and perfect fall side dish to add to your weeknight meals. So thanks for joining me once again as we cook by the book. And feel free to check out the rest of BCPL's cookbook selection. There are uncountable recipes to try out and until next time I'll do the dishes but only in this instance. Thank you.